With the government launched the Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana or the Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, the idea was to extend financial inclusion and social security benefits to those at the bottom of the socio-economic pyramid. The Reserve Bank of India had set priority sector lending targets for banks to extend credit to the vulnerable sections. But these schemes were further attempts to bring them into the banking fold. Let's go to Manojit Saha to understand their objectives. If you see the data for the last three years, uh... Uh, 1920, 2021 and 21-22, private sector banks have met their overall uh, private sector uh, lending target of 40% of net bank credit um, of the previous year. However, in all the three years, they have missed achieving most of the sub-targets, uh, including agriculture. Uh, the sub-target for agriculture is 18%. In fact, uh, in uh, 2021, private banks missed uh, targets, uh, all the sub-targets. Uh, private banks' performance in the Prime Minister Jangan Yojana is also not in sync uh, with their market share. Uh, latest data shows that the total number of beneficiaries of private banks is less than 3% as compared to almost uh, 80% of public sector banks and 18% of regional rural banks. Public sector banks were to take the lead in these schemes, given they are seen as instrumentalities of the state, but the objectives were also extended to private banks. Last week, the government asked public sector banks to work to improve the performance under these schemes. And just this week, it asked private sector banks, payment banks and small finance banks to achieve the same. We look at how far private banks have gotten in implementing these initiatives. Let's first analyze the performance under Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana. Of the 319.7 million beneficiaries from rural and semi-urban areas under PMJDY, just over 2% were enrolled by private sector banks. The ratios were marginally better in urban centres, with private banks accounting for a 4% share. In terms of addition to PMJDY accounts, the performance of private banks was dismal. In the rural and semi-urban centres, public sector banks added 17% more accounts between January 2021 and January 2023, whereas private banks barely added any accounts. In the urban areas, however, their pace of expansion was much faster. We go to our expert to understand why private banks tend to falter under these schemes. It's not that the uh, banks have not done enough. It's the fact that they've looked at it more as an obligation than a business opportunity. So the need of the R is to look for banks to look at it more as a business opportunity than an ba- obligation that needs to be met. But that raises the question, should private banks be even asked to extend these benefits. I believe given the kind of reach that private banks have currently and the kind of role we expect them to play going forward, uh, you know, as more and more, uh, you know, banking will move away from public sector banks towards private sector banks, they need to play a role in this. More important, should all public sector banks follow this model? Economic profit is the key for any investor and for a PSU banks, Government being the largest investor, uh, they also not only look at the economic profit, but they also use these banks as a tool to you know, get the social equity, right? So if you look at the framework, so we can have few large banks competing with these existing you know, private sector banks. At the same time, we can assign or we can give the role to some small PSU banks to you know, go and work for financial inclusion, go and open accounts, go and open branches in the, you know, tier 4, tier 5 or the so-called Bharat. The government has been able to provide banking facilities to the majority of the population. Social security benefits like life insurance, accident insurance and pension are limited to certain sections. The need is to push through these initiatives. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that let success soar high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.